Biden gets devastating, they turned on him CNN host Jake Tapper was seemingly shocked this week when he reported on Joe Biden's sinking poll numbers. During a segment Tuesday night on CNN's The Lead, Tapper called Biden's slumping approval rating brutal. These new poll numbers are frankly brutal for the president, Tapper said. A Quinnipiac University poll showed Biden's approval numbers at 38 percent, down from 42 percent last month. The survey also showed disapproval of the president rising from 50 percent up to 53 percent. For his first six months in the White House, the president's approval rating stayed around the low to mid-50s. But since his handling of the turbulent U.S. exit from Afghanistan, his approval numbers began to decline. In addition to his handling of withdrawing U.S. forces from Afghanistan, a growing number of Americans are disapproving of Biden's handling of the coronavirus pandemic and the surge of migrants illegally crossing the southern border, Fox News reported. The Quinnipiac University survey also noted that only 39 percent of Americans approved of Biden's handling of the economy with 55 percent disapproving. When asked whether Biden was honest, only 44 percent of those surveyed answered yes while 50 percent answered no. Most notably, 55 percent of those surveyed claimed that the Biden administration was not competent in running the government with only 42 percent saying otherwise, Fox News added. Biden's approval rating took another nosedive, according to the latest survey from Rasmussen Reports, one of the industry's most accurate polling firms the poll shows Biden's approval cratering to 40 percent, of that number, just 21 percent strongly approve of him, marking the lowest level of approval in his eight-month presidency. Biden hit 42 percent a handful of times during this month. Overall, 58 percent disapprove of Biden's job performance, and of those, 50 percent strongly disapprove. This also appears to mark the highest disapproval of his presidency in this particular poll. Biden's approval has continued to take a tumble since the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan at the end of August, as his administration left hundreds of Americans behind. Then, weeks later, Biden delivered a divisive speech on the Chinese coronavirus pandemic in which he essentially pitted vaccinated Americans against unvaccinated Americans. Biden's job approval has been trending downward for weeks, due in part to his perceived mishandling of several issues last week in a report titled, This Poll Should Terrify Democrats Ahead of 2022, CNN editor-at-large Chris Siliza discussed Biden's precipitous fall in the polls. It's the rare poll that makes an entire party sit up and take notice. The new Iowa poll is one of those polls. Just 31 percent of Iowans approved of how Joe Biden is handling his duties as president while a whopping 62 percent disapprove. Biden's disapproval number is below the lowest ever measured by ace pollster Jay Ann Seltzer for former presidents Donald Trump, 35 percent, and Barack Obama, 36 percent. Biden's approval on pulling American troops out of Afghanistan stands at a meager 22 percent. Approval for his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic is now just 36 percent among Iowans. This is a bad poll for Joe Biden, and it's playing out in everything that he touches right now, Seltzer told the Des Moines Register. In addition, the president is taking hits for his perceived lack of mental capacity, according to a Fox News survey from this month. That survey found just 49 percent of respondents believe that Biden has the mental capacity to be president. Biden is also underwater with Hispanics in Texas, according to the eye-opening results of a recent survey released earlier this month. A recently published survey by the Dallas Morning News and the University of Texas Tyler found that among Hispanics, only 35 percent approve of Biden's job performance compared to 54 percent who disapprove. And the figures are nearly identical when it comes to how Texas Hispanics feel about Biden's virtual open border policies. Just 29 percent approve of his handling of the border situation, while 47 percent disapprove. 